guys, Katie here and I've got another video for you and because I went to my library, yes it's going to be a library book haul, but I returned a couple of books and I got more out, more out than I returned, but that's pretty normal for me. I'm sure I'm not the only one that does that. But this is where I'm going to show you guys the books that I got out. The first book being Blood Prophecy by Alexandra Harvey and this is the sixth book in the Drake Chronicle series. I'm currently on book number five and I really do like this series. It is a series about vampires and vampire princess and Helios Ra and family and friendships and yes really good series but because I'm trying to finish series I've started that's why I got this sixth book out as well then we have this one Valkyrie by Kate O'Hearn what a good name Kate check you out with having that good name but this is one of those books where it's like if you like the Percy Jackson series then you're gonna like this because you know Greek gods and they all have their connections and it does them really good I haven't read the Pegasus series that she has written but this sounds pretty awesome. It's about Freya and she's dreading turning 14 and becoming a Valkyrie. She doesn't want to follow the footsteps of the legends before her. On her first mission she reacts with a soul with unfinished business that sends her to the human world on a desperate quest. And yeah, it just sounds quite interesting for the mystery and I want to know more. Oh yeah, Game Board of the Gods by Rochelle Mead. I've had mixed feelings about this book. I mean, Rochelle Mead she writes a really cool series, the Vampire Academy series. Absolutely love it. Love her writing style for those books. But I've heard like good and bad things about this. I've heard it can be a little bit slow and slow paced and not a lot happens. But I thought I would give it a chance because I do like the Vampire Academy series and Rochelle Mead. So you never know, I might be one of those people that do actually like it. I mean, the synopsis of this book when reading it, it didn't sound really enthralling like to me, like it didn't grip me or anything, but it's basically like a futuristic book with supernatural in it. These people, just in May, are assigned to work together to solve a string of ritual murders. The investigation races forward, unknown enemies and powers greater than they can imagine are gathering in the shadows, ready to reclaim the world in which humans are merely game pieces of their board. So I'm not sure what I'm going to think about this book, but I will give it a chance. I mean, it is her adult book, and I'm not really a big fan of adult books, but we'll soon see, we'll soon see. I was super excited to see this book because I actually really, really wanted to read it. I've heard really, really good things about it, and that is The Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, and this was in the actual children's section. <laughs> Um, it does seem like an easy book to read anyway, it's got like illustrations throughout it and yeah this is about like a monster and this monster shows up at midnight at Connor's place and the monster is something different and something ancient and wild and it wants the most dangerous thing of all from Connor, it wants the truth. So it doesn't give a lot away. But at the same time, it also makes you want to know what the hell that synopsis was about. So I want to know more. And then I got this one, The Calling by Kelly Armstrong, which comes after The Gathering, which I have read and I really did like. It was really, really good. So this is the next book. So I plan to read this one and the third one after, if I can get my hands on that one. But I want to continue. But this is about Maya and she is like a skinwalker and I mean that's pretty interesting itself she has connections with animals anyway which is really really cool she can just connect with animals like around her and this one says here she knows she will soon be able to shift and become one of them and she believes there may be others in her town with surprising talents including local bad boy Rafe with whom she shares a powerful secret Oh, so I'm looking forward to carrying on with this series. And the final book I'm going to show you is this one, and it was the first book that I picked up when I went into my library. I'm not going to lie, it was the first book. It, my eyes drew towards it because I've had so many people tell me I need to read this book, and it is so, so good. And that is The Night Circus, and this is by Erin Morgenstern. Oh my god, I found this, and it has black edged pages. Whoa, that is so cool. All it says here is the circus arrives without warning. No announcements precede it. It is simply there when yesterday it was not. 
interesting, very interesting, full of mystery. I want to know more about this night circus and I want to read it so that hopefully I can enjoy it as well as everybody else. So there you have it. Those are the library books that I got out. I'm super excited for all of them. Let me know in the comment box below if you've read any of them, if you're looking forward to any of them, if you want to read some of them. Any comments, any thoughts, put them down below and we can talk about it. I hope you are cool. What's this? <laughs> I hope you're cool and I will see you guys pretty damn soon. Don't you worry about that.